I went a little bit over my last time with part three. So we're on the final level for this world. Yay, part four. How many symbols do they use? 20 at least. And two reactors. Why two? Oh, I can see why two reactors. Okay, so we gotta make this compound. Okay, we're gonna put the hydrogen in. Mm. I don't like that. We'll put the hydrogen over here. Oxygen. Chlorine. Or carbon. And we will output oh, this way and put this down here. And that's not gonna work. that you're synced too. So theoretically this will make my compound I require. Because it's got to wait for both. Bond and drop. In the right order I wanted it. So that's just going to go in there. Hydrogen is going to come in here. Now it doesn't matter how I do this. Oh, and where this was grabbed, like dropped into the other one, is going to appear. So if I just grab this here, bring it up, uh, I like putting things in a neat orderly fashion, okay, it's going to bring it up after it inputs, it's going to drop, at this point, I'm not even trying for symbols. So it's gonna drop that. Red's gonna come and get an all the hydrogen. is going to come here. It's going to grab. Go this way. Up. Drop. And this is where it gets really hard to think. Thank you. 
red should be done way before. Because we've learned that our compound does work. Oh, that's really close. That's scary close. I don't know if I like that. Oh, forgot to um, bond them. And to output on Y. So we know that one works. First round works. Drops it. Inputs, grabs, comes over, drops again, bonds, output, sync. Yeah, I was worried about that. I'm going to tell him to wait. And then blue can sync there. There we go. Yeah, these are my type of solutions before I started really thinking outside the box. Okay. Meanwhile, outside the reactor, we can see that our compounds are waiting here before they can let it go in. Because the pipe is too short. You know what? I'm going to try something here. This helps. A little bit. To wait so long. Used a lot more symbols than we needed to. Our cycles were pretty high. Yeah. I couldn't do that with one reactor because I had two input or three inputs, and a reactor can only take in two. Another world. Yay! And I can do one more because we're about three minutes. One reactor was used. Probably because there's only one reactor. More story. One, two, wait, is this one? Oh, I missed a couple. Okay, so we saw that one. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Okay. Oh, we're making an interesting thing here, aren't we? Look at these boys and girls. We're going to come up here and find those. Okay. Ugh. I really, really do not like how this is going to go. Okay, so we're going to input B. We're going to grab it. And then we're going to drop it here. We're going to have red also help with this. And red's going to drop. So red's also going to input input B and grab and drop there. So then red and blue are also going to follow this path going this way. And red's always going to lag behind, so I don't need to worry about that too, too much. So that can happen. And then they sync up like that. I was worried about that. I was super, super worried about that. I did not want that to happen. Did I keep them apart? By one. Nope. Nope, nope. That's better. Okay, so B is going to input A and grab the hydrogen, or get the hydrogen. 
it's going to go up and around, and it's going to drop its here. And then it'll complete its cycle. Red is going to go down instead. Or not. I guess it can follow the same path. And then drop it down here. Bonding. One bond. Two bond. Three lovely bonds. <laughs> and then we will output on the Y. Sync one behind your start point and see if this works. I suppose I could have done it a little bit better when I had the um I thought I was here because my original plan was for it to follow the same path, but I ended it too soon. This is better. I'm eh, not the highest. Alrighty, let's end there for now.